And we got another win for the Second Amendment community. What's up, everyone out there in YouTube world, Facebook world, social media world? I am your host, Music and MGL. Let's get right into let's get right into this one. So uh, there's all these lawsuits going on. Everybody knows about it because when the Bruin decision came out, there's all kinds of lawsuits going on all across the country for Second Amendment rights. And so I like to keep everybody updated on those lawsuits, on the rulings, where things stand. So we got another one coming to you here today. So we're going to get right into this. It comes from our friends in the great state of California and the Ninth Circus Court of Appeals. However, uh, and this time uh, they're, they're doing things right out there in California. So let's let's kind of get into this and see what's going on here. So Ninth Circuit blocks California law that limited gun purchases by law abiding citizens. Now, this is going to get a little bit confusing with the with the procedure here. So I'll try and walk everybody through it. The U.S. Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit issued an order Thursday reversing a stay issued against an injunction against California's 1 in 30 ban. The 1 in 30 ban prohibits law-abiding Californians from buying more than one semi-automatic center fire rifle or handgun in a month. So as it says there, they pass a law in California that says you can only buy one basically semi-automatic firearm per month, 1 in 30. In light of the Ninth Circuit's order, 1 in 30 is blocked from enforcement unless or until further judicial action changes things. So, the case is Gwen V. Bonta filed in, by the Firearms Policy Coalition against California attorney Rob Bonta. Previously, when a three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit granted a stay of the injunction pending appeal, Judge uh, Ryan D. Nelson dissented, writing, yeah, we're not going to go through all that. Uh, on August 5th, 2024, Nelson's view won the day and the stay was lifted there by blocking enforcement of 1 in 30. Now, here's where the weird procedural history comes in here. So they passed the law. A uh, lawsuit was filed and asked for an injunction to stay the law from going into place. That was granted. That was then appealed and a three judge panel overruled the stay, which basically means the injunction was thrown out and the law was then going to go back into effect. So the law was put in place. An injunction was put in place, stopping the law. An order came out getting rid of the injunction and allowing the law to go into place. And now the Ninth Circuit, uh, they went to the hot, the full panel, not just the, the three panel person. They went to the full panel and the full panel overruled the three person panel, which threw out the injunction that originally stopped the law from going into place. So like I said, it's a weird procedural thing. But in a nutshell, what that means is the Ninth Circuit has upheld an injunction stopping this law from going into place until the law can the law itself can go through the full process to see where it ends on the merits so this is another big win uh for the 2a community it doesn't really affect us here in florida obviously or anybody else because it is in california but when the ninth circuit which is historically the craziest most liberal circuit out there actually upheld upholds an injunction now when you uphold an injunction remember you're basically saying that the people who want the injunction are most likely going to win on the merits because if your position is they're never going to win anyway then you don't grant the injunction the only reason you grant an injunction is because you believe as a court that the people who are asking for the injunction are ultimately going to win on the merits and and they would suffer irreparable harm if they were waiting for their win so you put an injunction in place to to stop the law because they're ultimately going to win so the ninth circuit by uh Putting this injunction back in place is basically saying that they believe ultimately uh, the people trying to throw this law out are going to win on the merits. And if that's true, if the Ninth Circuit of all circuits throws out a crazy left wing anti Second Amendment law in California, then you know that things are still kind of flowing in the right direction. We have had a few setbacks, in my opinion, recently with some Supreme Court rulings. They did throw out the bump stock ban, which was great. But they didn't throw out uh, the domestic injunction ban. Nobody has really uh, gotten a Supreme Court ruling on like throwing out marijuana users or medical marijuana user bans. So there's a few things out there um, that still haven't gone all the way through. But 
This is a, a law that never would have affected Florida anyway, because again, it's a, it's a California law. The other laws, the domestic injunction stuff, the possession of marijuana stuff would certainly affect uh, people in Florida, which is why those are more important laws. But I just want to bring up the fact that even in the Ninth Circuit out there in California, who is still trying to pass these crazy laws out there, even they are starting to realize that under the Bruin decision and some of these other decisions that are coming out, that a lot of these Second Amendment cases are going to win on the merits. And now they're just shutting these laws down uh, before they even go into effect. So it's a good one to keep an eye on. I'll keep an eye on it again. Ultimately, it's not going to affect Floridians, but it just may give you an idea of, of, you know, where things are still going. Look, any Second Amendment victory, I don't care if it's for for the morons who still live in California and haven't realized that they should move uh, or uh, those of us who live in pro Second Amendment states. Uh, either way, uh, a pro Second Amendment win is a pro Second Amendment win. So we like it when they all come down that way. So thanks for watching. If you want more updates on these kind of things, if you want to stay in the loop about uh, case law and statutes and rulings that come out, political decisions, uh, and, and some of the other videos I do, like, share, subscribe, click the notification uh, button down below. Uh, it always helps out the algorithm. Being a gun channel, the YouTube algorithm always fucks with me. So if any, any help I can get would be great. So thanks for watching. As always, uh, stay safe. Stay healthy, stay vigilant, and carry on.